Satellites can see poverty from space. Artificial intelligence can see it in patterns of mobile phone data. Together, they help the government of Togo target aid to the neediest in the COVID-19 pandemic. And these tools may be useful in other crises. When COVID-19 shutdowns forced people out of work, they pushed tens of millions into poverty worldwide. Governments scrambled to provide aid, but in a country like Togo with 8 million people and vast rural areas, how do you locate the neediest people? The best way to get that data is to do a detailed nationwide house-to-house -house survey, but that takes people, time, and money. Most developing countries haven't done them, and this was not the time to start. But researchers have been finding ways to identify areas of wealth and poverty in satellite images. If you or I go to Google Maps or some satellite data provider and look at an aerial image of one town or another, you can sort of tell whether it's wealthy or not. Wealthier homes tend to have metal roofs, poorer homes tend to have thatched roofs, um, wealthier neighborhoods have paved roads, bigger plots of lands, more spaced out. Um, houses, and so there's a lot of information in that imagery. The researchers trained artificial intelligence to recognize these patterns. The AI came up with a map of the poorest regions of Togo. The next step was to target the neediest people in those regions. So they put AI to work studying patterns of mobile phone use. Rich people will make just more phone calls than poor people. They also might make more international calls, since those are very expensive. They might use more mobile data because they have smartphones, whereas in general, poorer people will just have feature phones. They use the system to identify about 60,000 people to receive benefits, while taking steps to keep their information confidential. Cash benefits went straight to their mobile money accounts. Writing in the journal Nature, the team says the system missed fewer needy people than the Togolese government's first attempt to target aid, but it did not do as well as a house-to-house -house survey would have. The comparative advantage of the satellite imagery and phone data approach is that it's extremely fast, it's very lightweight, it's very cheap to implement. Um, and so I really see these two methods as being sort of complementary to each other, especially when we think about like crisis contexts. I can see so many applications of of this coming down as we speak, because I think the risks and shocks are becoming commonplace these days, right? In shocks like climate disasters or conflicts or any situation where there's no time or way to get detailed on the ground information, satellites, mobile phones, and AI could help deliver aid quickly to people in need.